Hi, hey Mimi. Um, I thought I would do my pregnancy must-haves, lifesavers sort of thing. Um, because I have you know a few different things I use this time that I didn't use the other times or the last three times. Um, just things that I've learned. And I see a lot of people talking about itchy skin and things, so that's one of them. So I thought I would just share with the world. Okay. Not much down there. I look around a lot because the cat, <clears throat> the computer wire is here. And the cat sits on the floor and she fiddles with it. And because I'm on the ironing board, I wonder, you know, what she's going to do. So anyway, we will carry on with what we were talking about. So my pregnancy lifesavers must haves obviously this is just my opinion um of what works for me obviously it could be different just for somebody else so first of all itchy skin um with all three pregnancies all four pregnancies i have mega itchy skin like on you know on your belly and your belly stretching or you, i just find that you just get when you're pregnant you just generally get dry skin and on the boobs, really itchy boobs. Um, to the fact that well, I've heard a lot of people, and it, it happens to myself. I will sit there, and I don't even know I'm doing it half the time. I would just sit there and claw myself, and just scratch and itch and scratch and itch, and in that area, you know, just you know, all the time, you know, all the all the time. So um, now AJ has got really really dry skin. He got given this. It's an epiderm cream, which um, is good for eczema, psoriasis, and other dry skin conditions. So basically, dry skin. Um, no colorings, fragrances, additives, or preservatives. And it's all suitable for all ages, including babies, developed by dermatologists. Um, and you can also use it as like a skin cleanser in the bath. You can actually take it in the bath of you and... I suppose if you put it on you, it's going to soak into your skin, isn't it? But anyway, for the last two months, I've been using it day and night, um, night, every single night when I come out of the bath. I will cover all my belly in it. And I can actually say, I cannot remember the last time I've actually had to sit there and itch and itch and itch it myself. Um, I would just sit there and I had a bit on my belly and I would just sit there itching it, you know, and I couldn't stop myself and I didn't know I was doing it. So that is the first thing I def definitely, definitely recommend because the last three pregnancies before I started using this, I mean, I, I couldn't find anything, no cream, and I, you know, I use loads of creams and body butters and everything, nothing worked. So I most definitely, definitely recommend this. Second one is um, normally I just use normal shampoo, um, whatever's on offer, to be quite honest, but not now, not when I'm pregnant. Da -da. I have mega, mega greasy hair when I'm pregnant. Um, obviously, it's just all the hormones and things going on. But um, I will literally, I will wash my hair and I'll, I will still feel dirty. My hair will still feel greasy. So I use the um, Herbal Essence Fresh Balance Claring, Clarifying Shampoo. I haven't tried any other shamp clarifying shampoos. Um, so I haven't really come across them. And I, when I see this, I buy it. This is the only shampoo I use and um, that I will continue using. I might even just continue using it because I can actually get away to two days without washing my hair using this. Um, I do wash my hair every day, but sometimes on a Sunday or whatever, when I don't wash my hair, I can actually just continue it, you know, my hair is normal. Um, but I couldn't do that under a normal shampoo. Absolutely no way. So that's that one. Right, the next one is forgive me if I'm pronouncing this wrong, Mitchum Advanced Control Deodorant. Can we see that? It's in the evening, the light is really, really bad, and I've got the light on. There we go, and I've got the flavour powder fresh, which is like um, talcum powder. And I, don't really, I don't really like it, that particular scent. I don't like talcum powder at the moment. When I am not pregnant i love talc the smell but at the minute i don't know i just can't stand it but anyway this is without a doubt the best deodorant i've ever ever used um i'm getting really hot and sweaty so easy when you're pregnant 
well, you know, I do. A lot of people do. Maybe you do as well. And I can clearly say that I can go all day without having to double up on my deodorant and things. Um, so I would 125, you know, percent recommend this. Um, I actually can't think of a bad word to say about it. I know I don't like the scent, but you obviously get different scents and things. Um, my sister actually uses this. She works in um, Clinique in House of Fraser and she has to stand in the hot lights all day. So she gets all hot and sweaty. And um, she recommended this and... I don't think I'll ever go back to be honest to use anything else. Um, talking of Clinique, um, Clinique products. Um, I've got the clarifying lotion here and the moisturiser. I I go through sort of you know sprees of I'll always moisturise and I'll always use the lotions and potions and things like that. And then when I don't, oh my goodness me, and you go back to it. You, just, you so notice the difference. Your skin's not so tight and you feel moisturised. I think you just feel better in yourself. I think if you feel nicer, I don't know how to explain it. You know, you feel happier, don't you? If you feel oh, oh, miserable, you know, you just feel a bit... Do you know what I mean? Yeah? Okay. Um, I always carry some spray with me because some spells smell really make me gag and feel ill and sick and horrible and I always wear a scarf well obviously not always but most of the time I like to wear a scarf and um, I will always spray some of this on my scarf if I can <laughs> smell a bad whiff and it really does you know take the edge of the bad smell and stop you feeling so sick and the final thing really quickly is well this is a cheeky wipe this isn't a flannel my flannels are a bit manky I don't want to show you a manky flannel so, when you're really, really, do you know what, just shoot me, because my pregnancy brain is through the roof just this week. Um, headaches, you feel hot and flustered. I will often just sit there all night with a flannel on my head. I'll even fall asleep with a cold flannel on my head and then just wake up and randomly take it off when I've um, had enough. But I would, you know, even like on your feet and things, I've been shopping in the city all day it's just so nice just to have a bit of cold cloth you know on your feet or on your forehead or things like that and I have been known to sit there and do my makeup and I have been so hot that I've actually ended up with like a flannel on my back and flannels on my legs just to you know try and keep me cool because water really does um keep you cool in that so yes they are my few pregnancy um things that I can't live without um, any questions and just let us know and yeah I will speak to you soon bye she can turn see I've lost my mouse cursor <laughs> right bye take two